what's up you guys um, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this really uh, cool text that you can see on this background so we're gonna be using Cinema 4D and Adobe Photoshop I'm using CS5 but I guess it would work for any other version so we're gonna use um, those programs to make the edges that you can see on the text and the light effect right here so first go to Cinema 4D go to MoGraph and MoText uh, for a line make it middle so it's uh, well centered write in your text choose a font uh, I'm gonna be using American Captain but uh, well if you don't have it and you, you want it then I'll put the link in the description alright so we are gonna go to caps choose in fill, fill in caps fill in caps radius put two centimeters uh, double click on this on this box materials and choose the color put in whatever color you want I'm gonna choose a dark color and now drag it onto your text so it's gonna be looking like this um, now make sure to center it alright so now we're gonna go to the render settings which is this, the third button go to output um, choose in screen this one now go to save um, choose your save file directory uh, destination whatever where you want to save it choose PNG and alpha channel check it now go to well that's it make a render alright so this is your render and you should have it uh, I saved it on my desktop so this is how it looks like now don't touch anything don't zoom in or don't move the text because we're gonna want um, this exact same text so go back to the render settings go to output uh, go to save and this time change the name and go to effect choosing cell render so make sure it's checked go to edge color make it white and background color make it black uh, make sure edges is checked too now make a render okay so this one is the right one um, the other one wasn't right this one isn't good alright so we have this one and this one now we're gonna open this in Photoshop so here now go grab this one and drag it into here now go to layers make this one overlay opacity I like it around 30 but that depends on what you're looking for so I recommend 30 or 35 now uh, I'm gonna resize this because I think it's too big so hold control select your two layers go control T hold shift and resize this make a new layer by clicking on this um, grab your pen tool make a first dot around here above the text now make another one in the middle and drag it and make a curve so the line should be straight and make sure it's a nice curve now make a third dot above the text here and close this so you should get a nice thing like this now click right go make selection okay um, grab your brush tool put around 500 um, opacity around 50 
and make it white. Now we're gonna go on the side, so not in it, but just on the sides like this. And on top too. Boom, so now once you've done this, uh, you can press Ctrl D to deselect. And you can uh, move this around, put it on your text, wherever you want. So now if you want this to be only on your text, go to the layers, press Ctrl, and click on one of the text. So that's going to select only the text. Now go to your new layer and go grab your marquee tool press cl click right sorry and layer via copy now delete layer one and you should have one that's only on the text so it looks pretty cool now go on overlay so that's kinda better ready and opacity you can put down if you want if you want to be seen completely but I put it around so 60 maybe so once you've done this uh, your text is pretty much done um, if you can add it you can add it onto a picture it looks pretty cool I'm gonna show you so for example I'm um, uh, the one on the one on my desktop so when you, once you're done and you're ready uh, you know you're not gonna change anything you can merge the layers together so that that makes it only one object so you can drag the text onto here and you can see it looks pretty cool you can even add blending options for example like drop shadow So it looks kind of cool. Uh, by the way, if you want the background image, um, I'm gonna put the link in the description, so you can add your text. I think it looks kind of cool on it. So thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, and if you like my other videos, well, thumbs up. Thanks and bye.